What you've documented carefully in the Twitter files are a couple of key facts. You will hear, people will hear a lot of things today, but this is what they need to know. The federal government, from Democrat members of Congress to intelligence agencies, including the FBI, used Twitter and other social media companies to censor Americans' speech. If the alarm bells are not going off, then you're not paying attention. Over the past three years, documents show, they prove what you guys have, have uncovered here, is there's communication between Twitter and the FBI. It was constant, it was pervasive. Twitter was basically an FBI subsidiary before Elon Musk took it over. The Twitter files revealed that by 2020, Twitter was engaged in open information sharing with the intelligence community, and now we know there were many intelligence agencies apparently involved in this. The FBI pressured Twitter to act on election-related tweets leading up to the 2022 election. Of course, they did it in 2020 as well, and Twitter dutifully censored content as a result. Twitter executives restricted accounts. They censored speech that conflicted with the left's narrative. Twitter has used its internal tools to control and manipulate uh, considered speech considered misinformation, and who was determining that? It was the government bureaucrats. Documents show that Twitter used visibility filtering to restrict certain accounts and posts and removed people from the platform altogether. The Twitter files should be a matter of bipartisan concern for every member of Congress and every American citizen because it is a bedrock principle of our constitutional system that the government does not get to decide what speech is acceptable or true. Under the First Amendment, Americans have a right to speak freely regardless of whether their speech upsets the preferred narrative. In fact, that's when it needs the most vigorous protection. Everybody on the left used to believe in that, or at least they purported to. Government and media fact checkers frequently get things wrong. The American people can't and shouldn't rely on so-called experts to be the arbiters of truth, disinformation boards and the like. It doesn't matter what political party you're, you're in, government should not suppress important debates in public discourse. This Twitter file story and what we're looking at now and what we're investigating now, um, I, I don't think there's any comparison. This is by far the most serious thing um, that I've ever looked at. I've never worked on an issue where so frequently while doing it, I just had chills go up my spine because of what I was seeing happening. I never thought in my own country that freedom of speech would be threatened in this way. And it's just frightening when you get into it. Our, our most recent discoveries, I mean, I think you understand the process is that we first raised a bunch of concerns around the way Twitter pre Elon Musk was uh, censoring people and creating blacklists. Very quickly, we discovered that we had FBI agents uh, basically and, and go other government officials, you know, demanding that Twitter take certain actions. But we now realize that they have this other enterprise and they've been building out basically mechanisms to proliferate a censorship industrial complex around the country to censor on a whole range of issues. And so you've seen them, you've seen this censorship industry go from, well, we're just fighting ISIS to, well, we're just fighting Russian disinformation bots to, well, now we need to fight domestic misinformation, which is just saying we need to fight against people who are saying things we disagree with online. That's all that means.